Hi and welcome to this uh, quick video. I will show you how to transform your WooCommerce uh, checkout. Um, I will change the layout. I will change the design uh, from this standard looking uh, checkout. Uh, right now, it's really not that ready to convert any customers. And yeah, it's just boring. Uh, so I will first show you what we are going to make and then afterwards explain how uh, you can do it. And it's really easy. Everyone can do it. And it's of course uh, free. So let's start by showing what we will make. So this is the checkout we are going to make. And as you can see, a lot of things have changed. Uh, the design is just so much uh, cleaner and simpler. Uh, yeah, and it's actually a Shopify uh, checkout. Um, and the reason why we uh, are duplicating the Shopify checkout is that it's just so much better at converting um, visitors into customers. Let's just uh, take a quick view uh, to what happened when you fill out this form because it's actually a multi-step form. Let me just fill it out quickly. Now I go to the shipping and uh, the next step is um, which uh, shipping method I want to choose. And all the time this section stays the same. This is kind of the overview of the order and that's really uh, really nice. And you can also just apply your uh, coupon code as I do now. And this is just a 10% uh, offer. And um, then we'll receive, uh, go to the payment. One last thing I will mention before we go in and begin and show you how to uh, make this. Uh, as you can see, there is no header or footer on, that, uh, on this page. And that's actually on, uh, on purpose because we don't want the customer to uh, start uh, navigating to other pages uh, now because they are actually ready to buy uh, if they are on this checkout page. Uh, but we still have to um, give the customer uh, an, an opportunity to just continue shopping if they want that. Um, and uh, that's why I made this, um, this uh, menu down here. You can make it too and you can choose uh, which um, links uh, should be in it. Uh. All right, uh, let's uh, begin. And I will now show you uh, how to make this. So the first thing you have to do is download a plugin. It's uh, a free plugin. Uh, it's called Woolenter. Uh, I will link to the uh, website um, in the description. Uh, and they also have a paid uh, version, but you don't have to use this uh, for this purpose. I'll just type in Woolenter. Yeah, and the first uh, plugin um, is uh, the by Has Themes, and that's the the right one. Um, I already have it installed, so I just have to press activate. You might have to press install now. So we will uh, install it and activate it. All right. So uh, as you can see, there is a new Woolenser setting over here in the control panel. Uh, you will just have to press settings and then find the tab uh, models because in the tab models we have this uh, Shopify style checkout. That's actually the only thing we have to use in this whole plugin. So you can just deactivate uh, all the other uh, functions if you don't want uh, your site to slow uh, to to slow down. Uh, I will just deactivate this one. And then you have to find a Shopify style checkout. Um, hit this icon and you just have to turn it on and when you hit save let's try and go to the checkout now and see the result all right so as you can see the checkout have na has now uh, changed uh, there is still a couple of small adjustments we have to make to uh, make it look uh, perfect but uh, i will show you that now so i will just head back to setting and you have to then uh, change or upload uh, your logo right now it's just the name of the web shop um, I will fo uh, search for my logo here save changes 
right and refresh now the logo is working um, you can change the, the, the name of this uh, breadcrumbs or actually you can change the name of uh, all fields if you want to for now I will just leave it like this the next thing I have to show you is to uh, how to make uh, this um, checkout menu down here we will head uh, back to settings and the bottom menu I have made a checkout menu for this purpose uh, so I will just choose that uh, I assume you know how to make a, a menu or if you don't you can just write a comment and I will uh, give a quick uh, guide on that last thing um, I have to show you is how to change the labels uh, maybe you have a different language uh, and uh, want to change them you go back to the settings for the wool enter uh, there is a rename label um, and here you can see you can change a lot of things and down in the button I think we have a place auto text for example um, if you have any trouble uh, finding um, some uh, options or changing some things in the checkout just write a comment and I will uh, respond uh, very quickly and maybe just make a new video or guide for that all right so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tip it, uh, it was really quick and easy for you to do so if you want to see any more of these videos and get any uh, other tips on WordPress uh, in general or uh, WooCommerce just uh, subscribe to this channel and I will uh, keep on posting videos uh, like this. Thank you.